Sometimes it takes a kick in the chest to remind you to keep breathing. When you've damn near given up, sometimes it's the punch in the gut that picks you back up. So what the fuck? When did, li when did simply living stop being enough? When did the things we hold on to start weighing less than our stuff? When did lasting relationships built on trust get replaced by superficially objective lust? We've lost our humanity to the manically mechanical. I think we've left it on the counter in our pursuit of pharmaceuticals. So where's the line? And just how far back did we leave it behind? Am I the only one who finds it strange that we're given magic pills instead of change? We are hurting as a whole society, forced to cope through the stripping of our own sobriety. I mean, why fix a problem when you can hide it behind bars? Use Xanax to annex the parts that are hard? Chemotherapy leads to codone misery. You're the junkie, even though the pills are, the di are addicting. Sedating suburbia while castrating academia? It's easy to lead the blind. Even easier when they don't mind. And easiest yet when the eight weight down is empty inside. I mean, at what point did mental health become a job for the school board? At what point did our children's mental growth become too much to work for? At what point did it become okay to sight and riddle in through the umbilical cord? All because their minds are too strong to be stuck behind a classroom door? Or because they fidget in their seats because they'd rather go outside and explore? Because nothing shows you don't give a shit more than giving your child an amphetamine addiction at age four. <laughs> Meth and Adderall, it's one and the same. The only difference is which tax bracket your drug dealers contained. Heroin is illegal, but morphine is a medical standard. Yet in other countries, heroin is used to cure you from that standard. The chemical name for heroin is diamorphine. So what's the difference between diet and morphine? One's illegal, the other's the one your doctor's supporting. But what's the true difference? Only one of these is giving your government something profiting. Sure, you can do drugs. And as long as they come from Uncle Sam's hands, we don't give two fucks. Mm. <laughs> because the only difference of being a good or bad man is where you've got your drugs from, man. One will kill you, the other will cuff you. One's for felons, the other's for your nephew. One's the devil, the other's here to bless you. And it only takes three little letters to permanently damn you. D. I. A. Morphine will kill you, but diamorphine will take your life. Morphine will leave you dead, but diamorphine will keep you from supporting your children and wife. Get caught with morphine, get a slap on the hand and a stern talking to. Get caught with diamorphine, get slapped with a felony and lose a year or two. And when you get out and you try to get a job, you'll find that all of your opportunities have been robbed. And every manager who turns you away mainlines oxy and valium every day. But instead of investing in painkillers that aren't addictive, your leaders would prefer to invest in rehab centers. Because what's better than making you pay for one drug once, making you pay over and over for the same drug twice? Labeling it medicine to cover its vice, your addiction, your life, and their eyes is worth the roll of the dice. And they don't even care. Well, 1% of the population are millionaires. Half of the 535 members of Congress are already there, which is so sad to hear because that means the other half only makes six figures a year. And we as taxpayers have thrown 93 million into the air. Am I the only one who finds it strange? Who finds it weird? We have such easy access to pills, we can't even discuss universal health care. All for one and one for all is a communist idea that will cause America to fall. But communism hasn't been an enemy since the fall of the Berlin Wall. It has nothing to do with our medical system at all. But here we are. Trying to swallow the pain while alone at the bar. Sat in our garage and waiting for the exhaust from our car. Because it was a life this bitter, yet the sweeter by far. So when you overdose and go comatose because your doctor told you so, I just want you to know you're a crucial part of a bigger whole. Because the greatest changes in human history are owed to the individual. The greatest armies ever amassed are just a collection of the singular. But here we are divided. Red, blue, black, white, and even divided by the language we write in. Because it's e easy to keep you caged. 
when you're only focused on things directly inside it? Can't you see that the things that keep us separate are just a cover? Because when we're all too fight, busy fighting one, like amongst one another, we can't call out Big Brother, giving them the world to smother. Used to, using drones to take children from their mothers? I'm sorry, son. Daddy won't be home for supper. Why is that? Because Americans love their uppers. Yes, you have the freedom to act and to speak, but you also have the freedom not to act on either of these. So when your doctor's got you too fucked up and the government's got you wasting your time on anything but, we need to sober up and start fighting back. Quit going in circles and jump off the track. Trying to pick a different path because they've got exactly where they want you at. We are too strong as a whole to see billboards for the opium epidemic every quarter mile down the road. We are better than getting our kids high because we don't want to waste the time. We are better than casting our brothers away because we don't feel like dealing with that shit today. There is no me, only we. If there's a hole in one half of the boat, the whole thing will sink. But how do I get you to see that if I burn down, it isn't just me? That all the buildings are connected and will take down the street? I suppose I can. I can speak and speak until I'm all out of breath and care more than even the best. You are the strength that props up my words, the endless potential this world so desperately deserves. So with this knowledge, do you know your power and allow these things to fester? Or do you rise against the evil that has caused this nation to cower and make this world a little better? <clears throat> Especially when all it takes is a gentle reminder that through thick and thin, we're all in this together. I've done what I can. So I leave these past demands in your capable hands with the hopes that one day, together, we could advance. <laughs>